We are living in dangerous and challenging times right now, um, revealing weaknesses in societies and in nations and in the world as a whole. Uh, right now, Israel is under attack, enemies from the outside, We're struggling with internal turmoil among neighbors. Uh, and I thought to offer a set of meditation practices that might help us getting through this time together. Uh, meditation for calming ourselves a bit, uh, for stabilizing our, our, our emotions, uh, and for giving us a, a sense of bitachon, of trust that we are in God's hands. The world is in God's hands. Each one of us is in God's hands. Uh, so I'd to like to, to share two meditation practices, two-step meditation. Uh, the first known as hashkata, which is quieting. Uh, you know, the Simcha Bunam of Fijuska says, in order to create world peace and to promote world peace, you have to start by promoting soul peace. So the first step we need is quieting. Uh, this is a method that was outlined by Columbus Kalma Shapira, uh, the Piazzetsa Rebbe, Zatzal, uh, and he gave an outline for it. And we're going to add a little bit from Rabbi Yitzchak of Berdicha, a little suggestion of his as well. Uh, so this is first quieting the consciousness, quieting our minds. Uh, the, the general goal here is to attain a stable consciousness and awareness and an expansive consciousness and awareness. Uh, we begin by paying light attention, complete attention to everything that's happening all around us and within us. Pay attention to the natural processes of breathing, uh, inhaling at the nose, feeling the chest expand, exhaling, you know, feeling the warm breath at the nose. Uh, we'll, if we get quiet, we can sense our heartbeat, uh, any sounds that we hear around us in the world, uh, sitting on a chair or sitting on the floor, you know, feel the, the physical sensation of that. Uh, any fragrances, any tastes, all of our senses, everything that, that gives us a sense that, you know, of, of being present right here and right now, you know, real, permanent, present. If thoughts arrive, arise, and those thoughts are part of what's happening in the world, uh, the Piazzetta Rebbe says, suggests to be aware that they're arising, but we just back off of them. We don't follow the theme of the thought, just relax, let the thoughts come, be aware that they're happening, but without getting caught in the themes of the thoughts. Uh, and quietly by itself, the mind will calm down. Uh, what we're looking for is a comprehensive awareness uh, so that in the it's the natural state of our consciousness to be aware of everything that's happening in us and around us. To this, Rev. Levi Yitzchak of Bidichev adds a suggestion, he says, should realize that Hashem is caring for us, is holding us at every moment. We are held in, in God's love at every moment. Uh, we can feel it in every aspect of our physical being and our emotional being and our spiritual being. He suggests even just to be aware as we breathe in through the nose, our ability to breathe, the air that we breathe, all of this comes from God. It's, uh, you know, it's a gift. And as we exhale through the nose, that's a gift of God's love as well. So even as something as immediate and direct as our breathing uh, is a way of appreciating that God is caring for us. We're not doing this. We find ourselves with this ability. We find this world that we're in. It's all, we are a gift to ourselves. Gift of God's love, says Rabbi the, the, the Yitzchak. So just as we're sitting and quieting to, as we breathe in, to feel Hashem's love that is, that is sustaining us in this world, as we exhale, to feel Hashem's love sustaining us in this world. We'll do this quieting meditation, Hashkata, for about five minutes together. The next step is a meditation that comes from Rav Yitzchak of Akko, who's a Kabbalist uh, in Akko, um, 13th century, 
He's a student of the Ramban. Uh, and in his commentary on the Ramban's commentary on the Torah, he gives a beautiful meditation, very traditional meditation uh, on Shem Hashem, God's name, which he says is a meditation that can be done by everyone, uh, by advanced scholars and by, you know, by all of us. Uh, and it's a meditation for really having a, a direct sense of God's care for us and for the whole world. He says, let me just uh, uh, read a translation of, uh, of how he describes the meditation. He says like this, let a person place before the eyes of his intellect and thought the letters of the unique name, blessed be he, God's name, the Yud, He, Vav, and He, name of God, as if they're written before him in a book in Asherite script. Yeah, let me uh, share screen on this for a moment so you can get a, a sense of what this looks like. Uh, so here, I've written this out, uh, so you can see clearly Yud, He, Vav, and He, without, and you imagine it without the dashes, um, as if they're written in a book, in block print Asherite script. Yud, He, Vav, and He, to imagine in our minds. He says, let each letter be large in one's eyes without limit. He says, what I mean to say is that when you place the letters of the unique name before your eyes, let the eyes of your intellect be upon them and the thought of your intellect and of your heart be on Ein Sof, God the infinite. All as one, the vision and the thought, both as one. This is the secret of the true adherence to God as described in the Torah, with a davkabo, to adhere to God. So this is the meditation. And he says, this is for everyone. Uh, you don't have to be an elite scholar for this, he says. Uh, he does require that, uh, that our hands be washed for this. So we should be in a state of basic cleanliness. But this is a permissible meditation for everyone. We imagine in our minds the name of God, Yud, He, Vav, and He. Okay? And try to see those letters all at once, yud, hey, vav, and hey, and then slowly expand them, expand them, expand them until the name of God is in your imagination without limit. It reaches from one end of reality to the other end of reality. One end of all the worlds to the other end of all the worlds. It's embracing all. Uh, and even though we're imagining this, the fact is that it's true. Uh, God's name is that which, hold, which brings all the worlds together and holds all the worlds together. And so as we're trying to imagine this with our imagination, okay, um, so the key to this is to connect with our heart to God, God's self, God, the infinite, Ain self. So a sense of real connection. We are really here with God. Uh, and a sense that God's name, which is the, God's creative and sustaining power, uh, embraces all of reality, which it does. You know, so this is an imagination, but it's actually a reality. Um, a, as you try to imagine the name, it'll, it will be challenging. Um, you, you might start small and imagine the name getting large and then you lose it for a moment. Don't worry, just start again, imagine the name, stretch it out, expand it until you realize that God really does call God's name over the whole of reality and in, in, all of reality is the calling of God's name. You can imagine this, you know, written uh, in black letters on white. You can imagine it white letters, shining, you can imagine it as transparent letters in which all of reality is, is held. Um, whatever is the comfortable way, whatever comes to you, be a little playful with this, a little flexible with this, and see where the meditation itself takes you. The purpose of this meditation, the aim of it, is to realize that God really is creating and sustaining and guiding and holding us and all of reality at every moment. God really is. Uh, 
we connect with God, God's self in this, uh, connect our hearts with God, the infinite. How do we connect our hearts with God, the infinite? You can try many ways. Uh, the, uh, what I suggest is realize we're here. You're here. Each one of us is really here. Uh, we are really being held by God and we are not doing the holy. We find ourselves a gift. The whole world is a gift. Each of us is infinitely here. Not here forever in this form, but we are right now absolutely infinitely here. God is taking care of us. And with that awareness that to connect with God's infinite, Ein Sof, through the sense that we really are here and that God's name embraces and holds all of reality together and ourselves within it, gives us a profound sense uh, of trust, a profound sense of calm. So it's a two-step meditation we'll be doing. First, we'll take five minutes to clear our minds in hashkata, quieting down, as we mentioned at the beginning, being aware of all that's happening within us and around us, try to be aware of that and re re receive that all at once. If thoughts come, just back off the thoughts, let them come, don't, don't try to suppress them, just back off of them and we'll quiet down for about five minutes. At the end of the five minutes, I'll give a little, little signal, okay, a little chime. That'll be the signal to begin the next meditation method. Uh, Shem Hashem, to imagine God's name in your imagination, but also in your heart to really connect with God. God is calling God's name to us. All of reality is the call of God's name. And God is holding us so securely. In God's infinite eternal nature, God is holding us with his infinite eternal nature so securely. This whole world so secure at every moment. Okay, uh, and we'll do this that meditation also for about five minutes, and then we'll hear the signal at the end, uh, the end of the meditation for this session. Uh, it's a meditation that I recommend. You can do it other times, and you can do it for longer periods. But together right now, let's just do this meditation for ten minutes. Hashkata Shem Hashem to really sense that we are in the hands of God, securely, securely held. As not to shine.
שם השם. יוד, ה, ו, ה.
we make peace in ourselves to try to bring peace to the whole world. You know, every one of us is the Selim Elohim. We're in the image of God. You've been placed here to reveal that. You've been placed here to help to to serve and to protect God's world. We're here to help each other to reveal God's presence. Bezat Hashem, can each of us feel a sense of calm, a sense of bitachon, of trust. God is holding us all, helping us all to realize this extraordinary world that we've all been gifted with, um, extraordinary being that we are gifted with. We're not doing this. We are held and we're not doing the holding. May we share this sense of calm and of peace with each other. Uh, I believe Yitzchak says, when you do have a sense of God's love, now share it. Do a mitzvah. Make it real. Uh, bring it actively into the world. Console the people around you. Support those around you. Bring peace uh, in any way that we can. Uh, take that, that state of calm and state of trust and share it. So Be'ezat Hashem, we'll all get through these difficult times together. Uh, may we f find ways to, to do tikkun, uh, to repair all of the, the weaknesses and all of the breaks uh, that are between us, that are within us, uh, to realize the extraordinary gift of God's world together, to share it, uh, to really bring true peace to all of humanity, to all, in all the worlds, to all of reality. Bezat Hashem.